love you. Be safe. <laughs> Can't find them, grind them. Uh, what's up, guys and guys? Um, I'm back again with some more of this uh, rocker panel repair. Um, uh, I'm also going to be having uh, Kendall helping me with a, a little bit whenever he gets back. Uh, he went with his mom to Wally World. Anyways, um, uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to finish up some of the welding and he's going to help me with some of that because I think he's doing just fine with the welding. So, anyways, um, I'm going to finish up the welding. I'm going to finish up this, uh, it's supposed to be a one inch run down here for the seam so i'm gonna finish up that one inch seam and uh we're probably gonna do some putty in i'm gonna show him some of that and i'm teaching that to uh do a little bit of putty in and shaping um you know i probably won't get the whole thing done tonight i'm not gonna stay up till six or seven o'clock in the morning because i'm just not gonna do that I'm not out here working on this anyways but anyways uh i'm gonna i'm gonna give you some good views this time uh uh, I kind of want to show you guys what I'm doing, but sometimes some of this stuff takes, takes so long and I just, the editing is just a pain in the butt and I don't, I'm, I don't really have the time or the patience for that sometimes. So, but, uh, anyways, we're going to get working on this, uh, while he's gone, I'm gathering up all the tools and stuff and, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, grinding and stuff and, and getting things ready here. Um, especially in this area over here because there's going to be some grinding and some uh, I'm going to have to do some tapping with my hammer to get it knocked into place so that whenever I putty it it'll be I'll be able to shape it the way I want it shaped so anyway and I'll show you some of that stuff too like I say uh, I'm not going to totally just bounce to the very next thing and just show you what I did I will show you some of the process of some of this along the way but um, honestly, it, it's not like it's an easy or just a quick thing. It's not like it just, oh, I'm done. There, there's a lot to it. So, anyways, um, but if you don't have a bunch of money, you do it this way. And you save a bunch of money, but it just takes you a little more time to do it than going out and buying 100 or $200 rocker panels, but then again, by the time it's all done, you could still have the same amount of money wrapped up into it, I guess, but anyways, uh, it just depends on what stuff costs for your particular vehicle. Like my S10 rockers, they didn't hardly cost nothing, but these are pretty expensive, so... And uh, I had mentioned, I believe, once before they obsoleted this car, so obviously the parts are going to get more and more expensive as time goes on because they're going to be more rare. And Anyways, um, uh, overlaying versus underlaying on this. Uh, as you know, I underlaid the back section. Now that's going to be easier to shape than overlay. Overlaying it... I shouldn't have done it, but I done it in such a hurry. I done it real quick. It was a quick patch, but it can still be fixed and shaped up. Um, it, it can be done. It's just a little harder to do, and uh, sometimes you have to work it a few extra times to get it to do right. But um, anyways, like I say, overlay versus underlay. You're better off to underlay it underneath the factory metal instead of over the factory metal because it's actually easier to shape if it's underneath the factory metal you know once it's been all said and done hopefully it doesn't really matter in the end you do it right you get it welded good enough and you get it ground down decent and you should be able to smooth it out pretty good so anyways we're going to get started with all this and first of all i'm going to start with some grindings uh, some of this the, these old crap welds so that I can do some new spot welds on some of the spots but I'm also going to tap a lot of stuff in but we're going to get down to that um, I try not to have my camera too close especially when I'm grinding because I don't want to mess it up so hopefully you guys can still get a good view of what's going on here
Like 80 grit, uh, they're actually soft discs, but I usually double layer them. Um, it gives you a little bit of flex to work with, just in case you need a little bit of flex. Um, other than having like an actual grinding disc, which I do have one of those too. I'll be using it later for some stuff. But uh, but anyways, um, I'm, I'm using the 80 grit uh, soft disc for the grinding discs. Uh, so... Like I say, that gives you a little bit of flex to work with. Um, anyways, uh, I think this should actually, well, I still got a little bit of grinding to do, so I'm gonna flip these, and, and I'm gonna use the other side. And do a little bit underneath now, and because there's some spots that need to be done back down here. But this will also give me a better view of what I've got so far. Um, like as far as like way under here, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, but I am going to have to cut my line, so I'm going to need probably a chalk line, straight edge, and give myself a a nice straight line here to work with. Um, like I say, there's still actually some to weld up in here, but I may not get that far today. Like I say, this whole thing doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it is not a show vehicle. But you still want it to look decent because this is still your vehicle. Well, my vehicle. You'll be doing your own. You can actually use a chalk line to get you a bit of a straight edge on this thing. Uh, whoops, probably ought to release it. It would actually help if I had some help with this, but I've done this some by myself, so I know a trick or two. There, that'll give me a straight line. And what I want to do is I want to cut like this on the inside of that line because that will be the way it's going to have to be. Anyway. cutting the line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this line out and this is where I'm going to put that half inch <coughs> that half inch run I'm gonna set it up in there and I'm gonna weld it on I'm gonna tack it up on the inside and on the outside <coughs> so it's gonna be I'm gonna follow it straight as possible Okay, got the piece cut. I'll have to trim the end a little bit, so, you know, and I may not even do that. I mean, I don't give a shit about that, but, anyways, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it up in here where it goes. You know, I'll probably have to go ahead and trim it up. Oops. I'm going to have to trim it off a little bit down here. It's not a big deal. I'm still going to over... Yep, almost. I'm still going to have a little bit of an overlap, but I want it to go up in the hole I made.
There we go. Now, if you want to measure this out, you can to make it a perfect half inch, but as long as it's pretty close and there's some spots that I'll need to trim up to kind of straighten out before we really finish this thing anyways. So, um, uh, we can actually probably go ahead and get the welder out. And, um, like I say, this is going to be pretty much tacked all the way down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the welder out, get it ready. Um, like I say, I'm going to have, I'm going to have, I'm going to have the boy do some whenever he gets back, so I don't want to do it all. Oh yeah, and just a little reminder for anybody that's welding on their vehicle. Disconnect your battery. Because it only takes one time out of a thousand and you've ruined your battery. Because there's a lot of juice going through that welder that's going places that it probably shouldn't. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, anyways, uh, like I say, we'll, uh, I'm just going to do a few tacks to get that thing back into place. Oh yeah, I'm adjusting my, uh, my stand here for the next view. So, um, I, I still, uh, I, I don't know, it didn't do too bad with, with the, with the welding the other day, so I could probably get up a little closer, but obviously, you know, it's just like little short tack weld, so it's not going to be that huge of an ordeal on getting a view of it. If you even halfway know how to use this little $90 welder, then you know what a tack weld is. And like I said, it's just little tack welds all the way down it and all the way down the back. And then some on each side, some on the front and some on the back. Because I've got it overlapped in the back here and I've got it overlapped in the front over here. But like I say, once this is all put together, said and done, it should look okay. It should look just fine. It should just look just like the other side. The other side turned out really, really good, except for the paint ran on me. So, But it doesn't matter about that because I am going to rework this whole body and I'm going to paint it all back to the stock color. Yes, that's right. Even the hood, even the fender that I've got airbrushed. It's all going back to stock color. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping, I am really hoping that I can find the coins to buy a body kit. Because I really want to do a body kit. Because <coughs> get a nice subtle body kit and they look good. If you get something too extreme, then they just look mm -mm. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to take a little pause before I do this. Uh, take a little breather. Um, and I'll get back with you in a second. Um, before I get back to it, I want to show you what I did here real quick. Um, I actually went ahead and I straightened up this piece that now it looks really, really even now. And it'll look even better whenever it gets completely finished. A little bit of putty on it, no big deal. Um, there's still actually some more I have to do on the back side. That's that's something that I'm going to do here in a little bit, but I'm going to tack this piece in. I'll probably give it some pretty good runs, some pretty good uh, welding runs to zip it a little better because uh, I'm going to do the front and the back of that. Um, uh, uh, and then I'll have to, this is the part that Kendall's going to help me with. This is the part he's going to end up doing. Um, because I want to show him how to kind of shape a little bit too. And uh, I'm also going to have him do some of the putty. But uh, I know you can't see in there real well. But yeah, you can see that big hole. Anyways. Um, uh, anyways, I wanted to show you guys what you do with this particular hammer. What this does is the reason it has the spike on it. It helps you find weak spots. Like this was a weak spot. It helps you knock out the weak stuff. And then kind of shape up a little bit the not so weak spots. 
So if this thing actually punches through, then that needs to come out. And but it seems to be okay uh, for the most part. It's pretty solid. It's actually really solid in here. So. This will actually even be pretty easy to shape up for him too, because you also use this to do shaping with too. The spike is for shaping into corners and stuff too. Uh, but uh, we'll get down to all that a little bit later. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this back on the pedestal. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go, to, go ahead and do some tacking, get it, get it put back together a little bit here. Um, and, uh, Need to check and see how much wire we got. Is he's been playing with it? Oh yeah, there's plenty of wire. Um, anyways, uh, and make sure that you have a good grounding spot, and make sure you have uh, your welding hood. So, because you'll probably need that. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna zip up the back side here. Um, this this will be sealed. I'm gonna seal this with a uh, rubberized sealer and everything. Whenever I'm done, I'll uh, I'll use some joint sealer and stuff. Uh, and, and 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 actually, uh, body filler can be a joint sealer too. Um, I've I've used it for that and it works just fine. Um, but it's all going to get rubberized sealed and everything and all these joints and stuff that may or may not seal up. Um, I can't really do this part with with my uh, welding hood on because it don't matter. But uh, I'll just close my eyes anyways. And, and I got a good idea of where I'm running my leads at because I've been doing it. That should actually do for that. Um, I'll have to still clean it up some with the wire brush, and uh, I think that should be just fine for that. That looks actually pretty darn good in my book. Um, cleaned up with the wire brush. Uh, of course, that'll get on the back side. 
The thing about it is, okay, um, let me get up here. Uh, the thing about it is, is you're putting metal in there and that builds the structure and the integrity. Some people just uh, fill it full of great stuff and then fiberglass it, which that gives you no real strength. Um, that just covers up a hole. Um, I like to use, hold on, I'm getting a glare. I like to actually use metal. In that way, it, it puts the integrity back into it. I'm not saying that fiberglass isn't strong for certain stuff, but, but you don't really want to do that. Not, not with this. Um, go ahead and put metal in. It's not going to hurt you. Put some metal in, make it decent. Smooth it out with a little bit of putty. It's not going to hurt anything. And it's going to look nice. Oh yeah, I got my head chopped. Got my ears lowered. Um, anyways, um, which I probably just lost half of it. I'm going to be bald from just welding. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, use metal. Use metal in there. It's it's just going to be much better all around. There's, there's no point in half-assing something I, I mean i know this is sort of this is like quarter halved or quarter assed not really half-assed this is quarter assed at least i'm putting integrity back into the structure of the body um now like i say if this was a show car i would have ordered the 200 dollars rocker panels and i would have put them in perfect and right and stuff so trust me i can do that I just this is just a street daily driver it's it's a fun project for me it's fun stuff uh, and yeah, I just want it to look nice it doesn't have to be perfect uh, kind of like my truck it doesn't have to be perfect but I am working on it little by little to get it to look nice again which very little by little because when when I'm not working on this we're off doing something else so but this is my daily driver my truck is sort of just a project so at this point i do drive it though and actually the the lady is gone in it uh she went to walmart anyways um uh we'll get back to the rest of this here in a little while um hopefully kendall will, will be back soon and and i'll get him working on that back piece and uh uh yeah i need to cut a piece for this other section back here so uh i'll go ahead and i'll get that cut and ready and stuff and and I'll get the piece for the back end cut and stuff. I mean, it's you want it into a nice, reasonable, general shape of what you're going for. So, and that's what I'll do. And and anyways, I'll be back. Um, well, like I say, just make sure you get good good tacks here and here. Just that's going to be the main part that's going to hold on because we'll have to use the hammer and hammer it into that corner and stuff. All right, so about three or four seconds would be good as long as you're hitting both pieces of metal.
shoot that with what I got left of that. Never see it. There ain't much. So that's why I needed to get some more. Um, I'd say we're done with the welding for today. But there will be some more that needs done, and I actually got some up under there that needs to be finished oh, up. Primer over there. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to show Kendall how to do the uh, body filler. That's this guy right here. <laughs> Anyways, um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be just kind of skimming over it trying to get it uh, leveled off um, obviously it probably won't be finished tonight but we'll get some of it leveled off and stuff and we'll get it primered and stuff and anyways it'll be something for him to learn and more stuff to do but that'll be one step closer to getting it finished so anyways just take you a little bit here Say a couple of good scoops usually. Um, that'll go long. That'll go kind of a long way whenever you're doing this. Um, Holy crap! That's what that breakfast was. <laughs> we just lost him. <clears throat> that brown locust. Uh, another locust. Okay, well, go pitch him outside and get back over here. <laughs> Bye, bud. Really? Did he just come back in here? <laughs> he's getting high off the fumes. But he's all right. Let him go. Anyways, you wanna you wanna get take the size of your pat there and kind of holy crap, it's red. Kind of guess. Um, you don't want too much because it'll actually. <laughs> Cause it'll actually harden way too fast <laughs> and you don't want not enough because then it won't harden at all but you mix it until it changes colors completely <laughs> I, that's I, great i'm having trouble keeping his attention <laughs> i'm listening i'm listening it'll turn pink <laughs> Why? It's funny. <laughs> Anyways, it'll turn completely pinkish. See how it's still got gray in it? It's not ready yet. it up really well. See that's why I keep the edges clean so I can do that in there because that'll help get all the way down. Um, a lot of people mix with one uh, and then they'll <coughs> actually spread with a different one that way. <coughs> they always got a clean one. But I'm not that guy, so anyways, we come over mm -hmm. here and kind of find out what exactly we're wanting to fill. We're wanting to fill along this upper edge here. Like I say, I beat that in some so that whenever we get that, this all on here and we get it, you know, shaped up, it'll be the right. That's going to be it for the video part. I'm, I'm just going to go through and kind of finish what's going on, and then and then I'll I'll sh I'll sh I'll get to my next video to show you some more because um, this ain't done. It's got lots more that needs done. But uh, anyways, uh, 
thanks for watching guys and uh, feel free to subscribe and have a spectacular day or night whichever one it is for you peace out